In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, the people of Jerusalem were looking for a king. They were waiting for a ruler who would free them from oppression and lead them into a golden era of prosperity and wealth. They certainly were not expecting their king to come on the colt of a donkey. They certainly did not expect a man coming without an army to enter into their kingdom. But because this man had clearly raised Lazarus from the dead, they all thought this must be a sign, a sign that this man will lead us to freedom. And they were right. They were correct to cry out that Jesus is the King of Israel, to cut down via palms from the trees, to lay them down along with their garments, and declare, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. What they did not understand, that this King coming in absolute humility, is showing us how we are to follow him, how we are to be like him. For you see, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, the ruler that the Jews thought that Jesus was coming to rescue them from were the Romans, the Romans who taxed them, the Romans who conquered them. But Jesus was coming to free them from a far more ancient oppressor, sin and death. For you see, with the armies of this world, you need earthly power. You need armies. You need authority. You need legates to go from country to country to declare your will to the people. Jesus Christ did not do this. Jesus Christ came humbly into the city. Humbly he sat upon a donkey, a stubborn beast of burden, so that he could show us how we can conquer the armies that face us. For one thing that Jesus Christ has shown us is that no one is our enemy. As much in today's climate, we want to other people and declare them separate from us and different. Jesus Christ has shown us that we are all brothers and sisters, co-heirs in the kingdom if we follow after him. But we do have oppressors. We do have enemies that seek to separate us from God, to separate us from one another, especially during this week of Holy Week. For the evil one seeks to bring us division through hatred, impatience, anger, these things are not conquered by willpower. They are not conquered by a show of force and armies. They are conquered in the way that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ conquered them, in humility.
bowing our head to God our Father and allowing him to fill us with the grace to conquer the real enemy, the real persecutor, the real person that is keeping us away from each other and away from our God. You see, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the only way that we can acquire the virtues. You cannot conquer hatred with more hatred. You can only conquer it with peace and love. You cannot conquer greed with more greed. You can only conquer it with charity and giving. You cannot conquer impatience with more impatience on other people. You can only conquer it through patience. And so, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you during these times, when our enemy is trying to make us focus on negatives and bad things, to listen to the words of the Apostle Paul that you heard in the epistle today. Whatever is good, whatever is lovely, whatever is worthy of praise, think on these things. Focus on the great things. Saint Paisios said that there are really two kinds of people, flies and bees. If you show a bee a room full of garbage with a single rose and ask him, what do you think of all this garbage? He will say, what are you talking about? How can you look at that when there's a beautiful rose? It is spectacular. It is beautiful. It is magnificent. It is worthy of praise. Why would I look at all of that when I can look at this? Or there are flies where there could be a room filled to the brim with roses, spectacular roses, and one speck of filth. And you ask the fly, what do you think of the roses? How can I look at those flowers? Don't you see? That speck of filth? That is what my attention is on. That filth. I can't look at anything else. There's only that filth. So I ask you, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, which kind of person are we? The kind of person that looks for the good, thinks of the good, or the kind of person that only thinks to the negative? Let us with the humility of our Lord, our Savior, our King, conquer the true enemy. He will show us how through this week of his passion and his great condescension to go to the cross, to death, to burial, and yes, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, to his glorious resurrection. Hosanna! In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.